Hello everyone, this is my, this will be my first non-live game, uh, playthrough, or gameplay. Uh, when I was playing it I didn't record it because I wasn't expecting to upload it, I was just playing for fun, but I thought it was pretty good gameplay, so I went in theater mode after and just recorded it on my capture card, so, uh, the reason I'm recording it is because I thought I did really well, it's just all knives, and including tomahawks. I thought I did really well, so. And this was like a week ago, so. I don't really remember anything. But I'll give you my input as we go along. Some of you who know me know I'm a really avid use of just rushing. I, I don't really have the patience to to just uh, camp the whole game. So this is why it's where I got the idea to use Let's ignite it. Not only is it not used very much, it's also frowned upon because I know a lot of people think it's pretty cheap even though I think it takes a lot of skill because you have to get right up close and personal and if you are going to use a long distance weapon such as the ballist such as the uh, tomahawk or you're gonna actually shoot with the knives, you only have one shot, basically. <laughs> I know this is not gonna end. Um, you can actually tell it's like, pre-recorded just cause if it was... if it was live you'd be able to see the map. You can tell I did pretty good with the my my kill streak. I think I got like four kills there. At the end of this game, I think I have like 20, 24 kills. It won't be that exact number. It's just something like that. I remember seeing this guy on the map and <laughs> on the radar, so I just kind of ran around like a little cat and mouse type thing. Usually when it, uh scenarios like that occur, I'm never the one. I, ne I always luck. I mean, I'm always the one that end up that end up getting killed, you know, when you and one guy are like running around in circles trying to get each other. Yeah, usually I'm the one who cat dies from that. But, yeah, I, I think I continue to do pretty well from here. Here I don't. <laughs> but, I, I get first place in this. And there's another one of my, not my signature moves, but it's something I do whenever I throw a care package at all. Put a, what the, a sensor on the ground just to protect my six while I keep tabs on what's in front of me. It's a really good way to camp if you do like camping, but I just use it so no one can kill me to snatch my care package. I just... Stuff like that irritates me, even when I don't want it. Even my, even if my teammates take it, I just do oh. Even if I don't need to know. <laughs> I actually saw on the map, he was trying to snipe me there, so I tried to get away, but... To no avail. Uh, also, with the counter spy plane that I have, I normally use it. <laughs> that's di that's disappointing to see. Oh, with the counter spy plane, I always use it until I hear the enemy has used the spy plane. Then I'll just... Then I'll just uh, use it to void theirs. But throughout this game, I didn't hear the music even once. That guy right there, he tried to tomahawk me. So I'll, I'll use it like last 30 seconds of the video. Uh, and here's a question I have for people who watch this: Do stun stun grenades have a their radius is smaller? Than a flash flashbang grenade. That's correct, right? Uh, that is why I prefer flashbangs because I don't really use them for the purpose of what they're intended to. I use them just—I'm sure a lot of you do this, but I use it to. I use it to find out where my enemies are located. Like I'll throw it in a room, and if I get the little target mark indicator, I'll know. Okay, there's someone in there. Got to be extra vigilant. That's why I prefer flashbangs because they have a larger radius. This guy didn't do so well. <laughs> 
I would love to see that kill cam. I almost don't want to kill someone when I fail twice with my weapons, just because I don't want to have them to see my failure. I want everyone to expect me to be like some god with knives. Even though I bet you there's like five people in this map going, what a noob. You know, because when someone does an unorthodox tactic, that they're immediately classified as a noob. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna... I'll, I'm not sure I'm in theater mode. No, you can't. In theater mode, you don't get to see the... the the game winning cam, but it, it just started when I jumped off the building and I tried to get this guy. <laughs> That's why I lined up my shot. So I missed twice, but... You know. Your work is appreciated. Big deal. Well, we'll see my final score here at the end, too. Let's see, so it's, um, a 22 to, I can't read that number, the screen's really small, 22 to 6, I believe. So it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna try and not do, I'm gonna try to keep my commentary live next time just because I don't like, I don't like trying to remember what I did. I like to give you guys my thoughts as I'm going along, but anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.